Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel for another Shark Week card event video. This is day 11 and this video is sponsored by Newton's Nook. And I'm using the Shark Frenzy stamp set and I did some alcohol ink on the background and it turned out so, so beautiful. So here is the shark frenzy stamp set and look at all of those sharks and there's a cute hammerhead in there which I think is so darling but look at all of those they're so fun they all have their own little personalities. So I'm going to do some alcohol ink backgrounds and I will be using uh, cobalt stream patina and aqua. I showed um, a different uh, that green one I can't even think of what it's called right now. Uh, cracked pistachio but I or pistachio I mean and I did not use that one I actually took that one out and then I've got my brass pinata and my alcohol I'm also using a blow dryer and I do have all of these things listed and linked below for you guys and I'm the paper that I'm using is a photo paper and it's a glossy photo paper you flip it over and use the back you do not use the glossy side it, you feel like you want to but you don't you use the back I love using the photo paper because, I mean, I love Yupo, don't get me wrong, but I feel like this moves better on here and it definitely doesn't stain the photo paper. So if you made a big mistake and you just hate everything you did, you could clean it off with alcohol where when you're using Yupo paper, it does stain the paper some. So that's why I like this. I'm using a whole eight and a half by 11 eight by 11 and eight and a half by 11 sheet because I'm going to cut this down and we're going to make two cards. So the reason why I thought I would do this is number one, I realized I haven't done any alcohol ink blending or alcohol inks blending for shark week. And then two, that was a lot of sharks to color and I felt a little overwhelmed by it. So I thought, how can I do this? So you can still see these awesome sharks but not have to color all of them. So I thought it'd be fun to make a background that looks like the ocean and then stamp these sharks. So we're gonna stamp them two ways. I'm gonna be using a black stays on ink and then the alcohol lift ink from Tim Holtz. So that's what we're gonna be doing on here. So when I'm, use, when I'm doing my alcohol inks, I like to, I put down the alcohol first, squirt on the ink and then of course my brass pinata because I always put that in there because I love it. It says it's brass, but it really looks gold. And my, this blow dry, sp this specific blow dryer is set on cool. So it does blow out a lot of air. So if you'll notice, sometimes I put the, the blow dryer next to, not directly onto the ink because the air just kind of starts to push it and you get a feel for it. So what I'm doing right now is softening up the edges by adding some alcohol and then pushing that into the ink and then kind of push it, pulling it back out using the blow dryer. And that just softens the edges a little bit. I wasn't super particular about how this looked. I just didn't know where I was going to want to put the stamp. So that's why I did the edges. Plus, I don't know. I love doing alcohol ink backgrounds. It is so much fun. And I go through phases where that's all I want to do. And then I'm like, no, you got to do something else. <laughs> But this spot here, I really didn't like, and then I messed it up even more. So then I came back in and just brought more ink in and moved that around with some alcohol. And then it got just a little bit better, but I was trying to soften it and then I kind of ruined it. But now I think it's super, super pretty. Then I will turn on the low heat just to heat it up and make it a, a little bit more dry. It did not dry completely. Uh, it was still wet when I was using it, so I was being really, really careful. I did bring in the stamp set to see that I can die cut or that I can trim out and stamp two areas. And that's why there was a, a big chunk of white cardstock up there. And so I added more of the alcohol ink to that. So I'm just drawing that a little bit here. I am just going to cut this in half after I decide. I was deciding which way am I going to cut this in half? Where do I want my stamped images to be? So I decided to go this way and then you get both of that cobalt blue and all the other colors. So I have this in my mini Misty and I'm stamping it with the alcohol lift ink. So you're going to stamp it. Something that I learned because I've used this before and I, just, I haven't used it a lot is let that sit, let that, um, ink sit a little bit. So I just used my tool to push down on my Misty and I would let it sit. I still had to stamp it quite a few times and then you have to clean off your stamp 
each time to get that alcohol ink off. So that way the alcohol lift ink will actually pull off more. But you can start to see here, these fun shark images are absolutely starting to show up. And each time I did it, it was showing up more and more and more. So I just kept cleaning in between. It really didn't take too long. I just made sure to really give a lot of pressure and just really give it time for that ink to work. But look at that. Now you can really see those sharks in the background. I think this turned out so fantastic. So I'm going to pull in the other one and we're going to use the black stays on ink. I did have to ink this up a couple times and I did clean it off at one point and inked it one more time and it did work. It, it seemed to have, to have adhered a little bit better because I think I think that the stays on ink was maybe pulling a little bit of the alcohol ink off or it was interfering in some areas just a little bit. So, but look at how cute that is with the black. I love how that turned out. And I did use my blow dryer on the warm just to dry that ink a little bit because I didn't want to smear it because I was so terrified I would. <laughs> okay, I'm using Honeybee Stamps Deckled Edge and I'm gonna die cut both of these and the second small or the second largest size fit perfect around all of the shark images. I also die cut from the larger size, a black piece of cardstock and a white piece of cardstock. And I adhered that behind. So the black one is behind the black ink. The white one is behind the alcohol ink. So it looks white. And I'm adhering that to a white A2 size card base. Okay, guys, my question for you is, have you guys ever been to tide pools at the ocean where you can go and see all the little critters, the little crabs, sometimes starfish, sometimes octopi? Uh, we do. We love tide pools. And every time we go to a beach, we try to find one. And we just love to go look at all the little critters. And, and we just have so much fun. So definitely comment that below to be entered in for the giveaway, you will win this Shark Frenzy stamp set along with the Shark Bites stamp and coordinating die. So lots of fun goodies. So definitely comment that below. You don't wanna miss out on a chance for that. So I have my mini Misty and I'm gonna stamp those sentiments with some black ink. And I'm just gonna use my paper trimmer to trim these out, but they're so super cute. They say, wishing you a frenzy of fun and you're looking shark today. And isn't that so cute? I just think those are super fun sentiments. I, those were the only two sentiments on this stamp set. Last year, I did use the shark bites for Newton's Nook on last year's Shark Week card event video. Okay, so I'm gonna add a few of the dew drops onto, this car, onto these cards and then it's completely finished. So thank you guys so very much. Now remember, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last video for the Shark Week card event. And I'm kind of sad about it. I've been having so much fun, but still is one more video. So make sure you come back here to the YouTube channel for that. Thank you guys for all of your support. I hope you feel inspired by this. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.